I love my Easton made axis, but. I love our Easton made axis, but. I love our Easton made axis, but. Well, friends, I gotta tell you that uh, we've been a little bit delayed in terms of um, getting some videos out. Uh, one of the reasons being is we've been a little bit sidetracked with some uh, other work, but at the same time, my axis hasn't been working. It's been down for about a month, and we haven't been able to get any splitting done. Now, to be honest with you, uh, it's operator error that's been occurring. And I wanted to show you some things in case uh, any of axis um, owners also have had issues um, that uh, is basically owner or operator error so um, anyway just wanted to get into that and show you what we got hey walk away doesn't go back up Is it that spring that's loose? Pretty tight. Do it again, Dan. All the way down. Step away. Walk away. It doesn't go back up. I don't know why. working now. I guess what happened is we put a little bit of fluid film. Well, we did a few things. We put a little fluid film down here on that joint. We left it overnight and it's working now. So, and a couple of these things. And he said that this, this turns one way or the other sometimes gets hung up. They say also this gets turned hung up. So you turn it one way or there sometimes uh, that little thing will keep it from coming up. So maybe it rele released. I don't know if you can see that or not. Back in there. That thing. So you see it's uh, turn that back and forth apparently. That can help release. The other thing we thought it was was because when you come here, this is fully down and the pressure from the hydraulics is completely off. So because of that, this has been stretched out, you know? So one of the things they said is if I'm having problems, I can adjust this to over here to one of these other holes. And uh, that'll help increase the tension of the spring when it's down like that. So, anyway, that's good to know for the future. Now, that was one thing we had done. That was just yesterday, but uh, the other thing we had is you see this. When we've had this out and down like that, see how that's down like that? It's not po poked in that hole. This needs to be set in a hole, as you see. See, that's not all the way in. Put that in, and that's it. Now, when we did it like that, apparently the motor wouldn't start. Um, just by that one little, simple little thing. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but the holes on here are meant to be engaged by this tab. So, if I push it up, that first hole is now engaged, okay? Uh, and uh, whenever it's 
like that, for some reason, the hydraulics in it causes too much pressure for the engine to start. So when we put that up, right there, right in that first hole, that's good. That took us a while to find it out. Um, it was down for a while. And we ended up taking it to a mechanic who, uh, we had it there and they, they looked at it and for some reason they just bumped it up made sure everything was engaged properly. I guess as a good mechanic does. And uh, it uh, started right after that. So we figured out that it was has to do with the hydraulic issues or hydraulic pressure, I guess, has to be just right. Um, or it has to be set just right for everything to work properly. So now... The other issue we had, this is operator, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, but this is operator error, complete operator error. We hit, were down for a month, a whole month. And uh, I shake my head because I, I feel like a dummy. But anyway, here's what we had. On our engine, uh, I had backed into it, so I had a bit of a bump. I pulled it out and uh, I was checking a bunch of things and I was checking the uh, right here is the, the the plug the spark plug and this is a long spark plug I'm gonna pull it out I can't do it with that one hand I can't do it with any hand so I pulled this out looked at it and tried to and put it back in there now, I put it back, oops, it's hard for me to do this one hand. So, put it back in there, and I put it on, felt snug, and that was it. But you know what was happening? It needed to pop it in there, just one more, a little bit press, more pressure. Okay. Hear that, hear that snap? There we go. That snap. Now it's on. I was trying to start it and start it, and it just would not start because I didn't have that on there. Now let me see what's happening here. here we can pull this. Bingo. If you don't have that fully engaged or fully snapped on, that's not going to start. I tell you what, man, I feel so dumb because I was down for a month and couldn't figure out what was going on. I had other, I had some other guys come over and take a look at it. We pulled it off and put it on. Either they didn't even put it on right. So Anyway, that's kind of what was going on with our Easton Made. I love Axis. I love the Easton Made Axis. And uh, actually, I, I called Henry from Easton Made about the issue on the spring. So when Henry said to move it over and he'll send me a new spring, if that's it, I tell you what, I was really pleased the fact he came up with an answer. But all I did is I lubricated all the joints. I lubricated this. I sprayed some lubricate on the other side over here. I lubricated that, but it didn't need it because it's loose, as you see. And then... Um, lubricated that right there I think that was the issue there I think it just got dusty and dirty and um, uh, after a day of uh, having that lubricant on it leaving it overnight it loosened it up and uh, we're good to go now so so we're good to go with our axis everything is a-okay and all we got to do now is plan out and we got a lot to split so uh, I'm gonna show you some of that what we have right here this is some of that wood that we're picking up right now. Uh, some pin oak. These are quarters. They are big rounds that we have. We've gotten. And this is the wood that was split on the... Um, uh, the processor. A friend of ours has a processor. Split it's just too big. So we have to re-split all this. Which we figure is about a quarter and a third or a quarter and a quarter. Or we figure maybe it might be um, five, 
um, five face cores. Oh, sorry, four four face cores. We believe is what this is. And then we have some other big rounds. And you see these. This is huge. That is about the smallest <laughs> of this huge big round. But all this other stuff that we have. Uh, these trees are about 60 years old. So, according to our rings. So we still have to uh, quarter that up. And look at the size of this quartered up. This thing, just to show you. Look at that. That's human. Humongous. Absolutely humongous. So, and remember our holly tree? That's the holly. A lot of this stuff we need to get to splitting. And we have just been behind the eight ball and getting any of it done. So, we still have to quarter this up. Get it to where it's manageable. Maybe even uh, cut it in thirds. So, we can move it. And move it around. So, and then we gotta, we have to mow. <laughs> mow to our yard. Mow our yard here to get things moving. Get things easier to uh, move around. So, anyway, and uh, we also have some other stuff we put in, put in front. These are still heavy logs because they're still wet. They may not be wet now, but uh, we have to. I'll split that up so we only got about a cord there so far um, split and stacked we got a lot more to do our pallets that we're stacking up we're gonna put it up along here along the side of this shed the sheep shed and let's take a look at the sheepies bad bad sheep you're a bad sheep hey there Hey there. All right, be that way. Be that way. Hello, sheep. Up. Oh, well, hello to you too. Yeah, some people do that too when they see me. All right. Well, that's a little tour of what's going on with us right now at York Firewood. We got, we're way behind the eight ball getting our splits done uh, and uh, misunderstanding the mechanics. I am no mechanic and I'm embarrassed to say that uh, we've had these issues, but I just didn't know what to do. And now I know, but I wanted to share with you uh, some things that were operator error that may be easy to interpret uh, as uh, mechanical issues, but they are not. They are basically... Uh, my own error of uh, misjudging and not uh, fully um, checking that make sure that all the connections are done. So anyway, ciao, take care. Hold on for a minute, I got somebody else here. Who do we have here? Huh? Who do we have here? Dan, what do we say? Firewood. Firewood. Okay, what's it? Have, have a great day. And? To and what do you say to Shibe? Woo! There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what's it?